So one of the tools that we use in our school this year uh, that we'd never used before is an online service called VoiceThread.com and you can set up free accounts however they're very limited. Uh, they provide you with only about two or three videos that you can make for free. Uh, if you upgrade to a free educator account you can actually create many more than that. Uh, but we actually found it so useful that we bought a year subscription for it and basically it was about sixty dollars a classroom but it gave us fifty licensures uh... so if you had multiple teachers and you say had about uh... two hundred kids between all of your classes uh... you might be able to get get it for around three hundred bucks for everybody um, they also offer campus licensure as well uh... but we used it in many different ways uh... one of the ways we did use it was by allowing the students to use it uh... to provide them a chance to do a much cleaner um, oral report. Uh, I'll show you an example of one of these. These are all stored on my main teacher page. And hopefully you'll be able to hear the audio. Um, violent video games and children. Video games are becoming more and more prominent in today's society and the types of video games you obtain may affect your child more than you think. It could cause them to be more aggressive around others and see fighting as acceptable because they see it in so many games. It can overall desensitize your child to violence. They may not see it as horrifying and begin to view it. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and turn her off. Um, but one of the things you may notice here is that there's actually a picture of uh, a teacher on the side. And that's because that teacher is actually able to provide audio feedback on uh, the presentation that the student created. So I'm actually going to go back to my main VoiceThread page here one more time. Oh, I went a little too far. And I want to show you some other things that we used it for. Um, another thing I used uh, VoiceThread for in the language arts classroom, and it could probably be used in just about any classroom um, by any teacher. Oftentimes we find that there's certain um, gaps in understanding that our kids have. Um, maybe they didn't learn a skill the year before. Maybe they um, just didn't pick up on something. Um, or maybe it's something that we've covered in class and all the rest of the class is ready to move on, but some of the kids just aren't. So I created many uh, lessons over a couple different topics that my kids were having some trouble with. So one area I noticed they were having issues with was with characterization. So I'm going to share part of a video I made on characterization for you. Today we're going to take a quick look at characterization. What is characterization? Well, characterization and I'm actually going to pop this forward just a little bit because there's some really cool stuff you can do uh, with VoiceThread. We'll start right about so here. There doesn't seem to be very much that's outstanding about him. However, when we take a closer look at some of the things he does and says, we learn more about him. Don't be a silly goo. So you can see I actually was able to upload video to VoiceThread. I found the easiest thing to do is actually to use your own webcam or video equipment and record it directly through VoiceThread. And in a second here, you're going to see something else that's really cool. I can pause that video in the middle of it. I can actually stop while I'm making my comments, and I can draw on whatever's on the screen. This is really a unique tool because it allows you to be able to show kids a piece of video and actually stop that video and make an annotation on it um, to really drive home a certain point to them. All right, so another way we've done this, and I'm actually just going to go back to my main page, is uh, we've been using it in the math class. So the students have created uh, their own uh, tutorial videos using the site. Uh, they've also done um, some of their own videos, doing mini lessons to re reinforce different concepts. So there's a lot of different things that you guys can do with this. Um, it's really easy to understand. It's really easy for the kids to get involved with. So here's one that one of our students actually did on absolute values in math. 
So hopefully it will be enlightening to you as well as to me. I'm Susan Burns, and today we're going to be talking about solving absolute value inequalities. But first, did you know some bird level? And if you're wondering what this has to do with math, absolutely nothing. Now, inequalities is explained um, when an inequality contains an absolute value expression, it can be written as a compound inequality. The inequality... All right, so I'm going to stop again here uh, to make this a little bit brief. Uh, this is just an example of one of the things that we've done. Um, what's cool about VoiceThread is the kids can either email you a link to the video that they've created. Uh, they can share it with you if you have a teacher account and um, or a classroom account and they have the sub accounts under yours. Uh, but you can also use what's called an embed code and you can actually place the videos onto any kind of website that you have. So if your class is making a wiki, um, for any kind of topic. They can make their own videos and share them there. If you have a classroom website that you use for when your kids are absent or you know the, there's a snow day or anything, you can actually post things like that. You can actually use it for any number of things, like even classroom announcements, um, poetry slams, all sorts of different kind of things. Um, it's pr pretty much the sky's the limit. And my favorite part of this is the fact that I as a teacher can automatically comment um, using my own voice so they can hear exactly what I'm saying uh, but they can also have their peers comment on things and one of the really nice things I've seen amongst our kids is that I've really seen their confidence begin to soar 